but this is how it's supposed to work. Hi everybody, my name is Greg Crable and this is my podcast, Something I Learned Yesterday, where I take one issue, usually from the world of publishing, and try to explain it in just a few minutes. Last week I was working on an article for the martech.org site on customer data platforms and their close kin. That is, other technologies that are almost, but not quite, CDPs. The article highlights the importance of knowing exactly what technology you need and exactly what a given vendor is offering. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get all the details about a technology in just a few calls and demos. There are always gotchas, and you're always left saying, wait, you do what? One of the biggest barriers in this process is your own preconceptions. When you think of a given technology, you think, oh, it certainly does such and so. And when they tell you it does such and so, you assume it does it the way you think the technology ought to operate. It ain't necessarily so. You can't accept, oh, sure, we do that. You need to dig into the details to see precisely how they do it, because I can guarantee you they're not going to do it the way you expect. Their way might be better or it might be worse, but it will be different. For example, let's say you're examining a fulfillment vendor and you notice that most of their clients sell monthly magazines. You ask if they can do weekly issues. They say yes. That's great, right? But then you find out that what that means. They always make the label file on Monday and you need them to do it on Friday. Now, that's a very silly, simple example, but it can easily get much more complicated than that. The only way to find out is to ask lots and lots of questions. At first, I was thinking that Detective Columbo, remember Peter Falk, Detective Columbo? I was thinking that he was a good model here. You remember his signature, just one more thing, as he was about to leave. That was very effective at jarring his prey into giving up an important detail. That, that's really not the right scenario here. The real hero is a former Kiplinger colleague named Karen. She was very good at asking the same question many times with slight variations. She's able to uncover hidden problems that way. Keep asking the question. It's annoying. You'll feel bad doing it, but it's really the only way. Also, when they give an answer, say it back to them in your language. Pay careful attention to the way they use words. It's almost certain that they'll use the word in a slightly different way than you do. Pick some important terms and concepts and review them very carefully. You know, customer versus lead, engagement, conversion and renewal, content, campaign, page view, personalization, churn rate, all kinds of different words. Also, think about export formats and what kinds of things will be in files. You have to dig into the details and ask very specific questions. Be a pain. Ask questions until you're certain you understand how the technology really works. But I warn you, even after your best efforts, there will still be gotchas. I'm sorry, it's just inevitable. So that's my thought for today. I hope it was helpful. If there's any way I can help you with your business, if you need help interrogating a potential vendor, I'd be happy to work with you on that. You can see my contact information on the next page. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.